Hi, it's me, Rashid Okunlaru, coach, speaker, author, and welcome to this, the June 2017 issue of Catch the Coach, your newsletter for success and fulfillment. This issue is all about leadership in your life, in your heart, in yourself, in your career, in your business, um, in, in every aspect of life. It's quite interesting that the timing of this newsletter is just a few days ahead of the general election in the United Kingdom, and let's face it, um, leadership has been in everybody's lips for a long time now, um, from the US election through to um, the UK's um, vote on, on Brexit in Europe, all sorts of changes in leadership across Europe um, and here in the UK. So it's an issue that touches everybody and you might be thinking, well, leadership, yeah, but what else has that got to do with me? Well, you're a leader in your life, you might be a leader in your family, you may well be a parent, you may well... Um, uh, uh, have all sorts of responsibilities personally in terms of your relationships, in terms of socially, in terms of things in your community. So leadership is the theme of this issue, but really holistic and heart-centered leadership. Let's get straight down to business, just to give you a bit of a flavor about some of the things that we're gonna be covering in this issue. We're gonna be covering news, we're gonna be talking about um, who are you, why are you here, what's your purpose? We're gonna be talking about taking charge of your life, we're gonna be talking about networking for success, networking is key to success. I'm going to be sharing my top 10 leadership tips. I'm going to be giving you a flavor of my heart centered leadership free um, uh, masterclass, which you can view online. Um, I'm going to be talking about choosing your company and your counsel wisely and respect, responsibility, um, and service. Our tip for the month and our closing quote of the month. So, lots to get through, um, but we're going to get through um, warmly, swiftly, and mindfully. First of all, news, I want to first of all thank all the people who've been on my leadership programs. There's a number of leadership programs I'm running for, for a handful of NHS trusts, including we've just started a new leadership program for Homerton um, NHS Trust here in London. Um, and I'm very excited about those leaders who be on the BME Leadership um, Career Development um, uh, Centre and the two cohorts of the BME Leadership Programme for West London Mental Health Trust. And I'm also very excited about just about to begin um, and run a masterclass for managers across um, the West London um, Mental Health Trust, middle managers who have such a key job leading um, in such often a challenging environment. So I'm very, very excited about that. So I just want to thank and congratulate everyone who've been on my leadership programs and classes. And I'm really looking forward to meeting many of you on your leadership journeys. And I know I'm going to be doing a session for the um, Leadership Academy, um, uh, um, the Yorkshire and Humber Leadership Academy. I'm going to be running presentation skills um, and masterclass coming up soon. So lots of stuff there. So all the best to you who are leaders. I really admire you, those of you, especially who are leading in the NHS, um, uh, something that's very, very dear to all of our hearts, I know. Also, another bit of news, the Precious Awards. Do you know an outstanding woman of color in leadership in the workplace? If so, um, uh, look up the Precious Awards and nominate her or yourself today. Right, let's get um, underway with the, um, with the rest of the content here. First of all, you know, when it comes to leadership, my first question that I'm gonna ask you is, is, who are you and what is it that you love? I'm gonna ask you a few questions. By all means, grab a pen, grab a paper, feel free to pause this, I'm gonna get you to write the answers down. First of all, who are you? Who are you? Why are you here? What's really dear to you? Are you name? Are you your name, your colour, your your background, your your job title, or are you something deeper, something more undefinable? This is what I want you to sit with. What is it you're passionate about? If you secretly knew your life purpose, what would you say that is? What is it that you love, and who are the people that you love? And where are you on your journey of finding and being true to yourself? These are really important questions that any leader needs to sit with. So I want you to sit with those questions. Also, finally, on that set of questions is, it's one thing doing what you love, but I have a saying, it's one thing doing your love, it's another thing doing what you love with love. Are you doing what you love with love? How could you bring more love to what it is that you're doing? How could you bring more love to what it is that you're doing? And what would success look like for you? Because actually this issue is about more than just leadership. It's about life, love and leadership. Next up, um, taking charge of your life. I just wanted to share with you my 10 tips um, for taking charge of your life. And this is based on some really co coaching fundamentals. First of all, number one, take responsibility for yourself 
um, your thoughts, deeds and actions from here on in life and let other people do the same. Two, set your own direction. Better to set your own direction and let somebody else take it for you. So be focused, be clear, but also learn to trust and go with the flow and to flow with life. And when I mean going with the flow, I mean going with life's flow, understanding where the tide is going so that you're attuned because life will change, life will bring about changes. So you need to be aligned with that. We can't just be blindly in our own lane and not aware of life. We want to be able to be aligned, bring ourselves to life, be true to our life course, but also as that course is ahead that we're attuned with where life it is going itself. Thirdly, is mindset, believe in yourself, you know, adopt the attitude of an, of an athlete. It's really important to be on your own side. Number four, be proactive, seek out and create opportunities, don't wait for them to come for you. Um, number five, be engaging, be encouraging and be, um, give 100% in everything that you do. I think that energy is incredibly important, it's really important that you are energised, energetic and proactive. Number six is be engaging and, um, and be encouraging. You know, being really encouraging of others. Number seven, focus. You know, don't get too caught up in all the other kind of nonsense that's going on. You know, focus is going to be very important. You want to be supportive of others, but you need to keep your focus and know what it is that you're trying to do and be mindful about how you, um, when it is that you need to switch things off so that you can be absolutely uh, aligned to what it is that you're trying to do. Um, and next is number eight is helping others flourish. You know, really just help other people on their own journey. So yes, you can be focused, but you can also just um, lend a moment here and ear there, a little bit of support there, a little bit of time here. Number nine, build a winning team. More on that later. Um, and number 10, share, collaborate and celebrate. It's really important to celebrate along the way. You know, leadership can become very, very serious, um, be it life, home, relationships, career, socially, but it's important to have fun and to be true to yourself. Next up, I'm networking for success. I think um, you probably know now I run a monthly networking event at the British Library for anybody. It's for you if you're a professional and you're wanting to build your career. Incre increasingly, many people need to influence. They need to build relationships or partnerships. It's really, really important to be able to have those skills, to be able to connect, to be able to promote yourself, to be able to know what to say and how to win people over and to bring people on board. But also, it's of course incredibly important if you're your own boss. So join in for networking success run at and in proud partnership with the British Library's Business and Intellectual Property Centre. Next dates are 4 till 7.30 p.m. on the 20th of June, 25th of July, and the 20th of September. Follow the link below here or visit the events page on my website and booking it would be great to see you there. And that £25 also includes um, tea, coffee and biscuits. Um, uh, so see you there. Okay. Um, next up. Yeah, um, I want to talk a little bit about who are you and what is that you're trying to do. Now, aha, no, I've already talked about that, isn't it? Who are you and what you're trying to do? And actually, let me, let me just, <laughs> just in case there's a little bit of a crossover with what I've talked about on before, I just want to kind of pick up on this, on this one more time, actually. Um, yeah, this thing about who are you and what you're trying to do. I just want to pick up on this thing one, one, one time. Are you really in line, aligned to those things we talked about before. You, your purpose and your passion. Are you doing what is it you really love? Are you doing something else? Beware when you're trading off doing something now for something tomorrow. There will be brief times where we do need to be strategic like that. But I think in the long run, it's really silly to be doing X when it is that you're really wanting to do Y. So really be mindful of that and seek out other people who can help you on the journey of being authentic to yourself. And that's again ties us in with the importance of networking and utilizing your network. And linking it back to networking for success, one of the things that we teach you to is not just to go out the networking, but to connect to the network that you already have. Okay, next up, Rashid's top 10 leadership tips. So my top 10 leadership tips. My first tip in terms of leadership is number one intention. Being clear of what your purpose is, what your passion is what your goals are, what is your intention, and what's the heart with which you're going on the journey. Secondly is insight, you need to be aware, you need to be attuned, being aware of your context and your environment. Number three is inspiration, that's about connection, it's about energy, connect with life, connect with life itself, be attuned with life, spend some time out in nature. Really um, open yourself to inspiration, inspiration actually means breath. And so by being present, by being in the world, we can um, boost our inspiration. Number four is intelligence. This is really about wisdom. It's about discernment. This is about um, ongoing learning. This is about um, being very shrewd. So it's one thing knowing a lot, 
but it's another thing being truly intelligent and wise in terms of your decision making. Number five is instinct. Trust your intuition. Your intuition. You know, really learn to trust it, your inner knowledge. Because otherwise you're just going to be limited to your conscious knowledge, whereby there might be something, um, deeper wisdoms, um, other lifelong learnings that you're not at that moment consciously thinking of that you're closing off. So intuition, creativity, instincts are really important. Six is influence. This is really important. This is about um, passion. This is about personability. This is about being personable. This is about being about professional. This is about delivering. This is a knowing and um, being somebody who's valued. This is about being somebody who's seen as having a good voice and bringing something to the table. And it's about being visible. Number seven is impact. You know, really be mindful about what's the impact, what does success look like. You know, any leader, you've got to be very, very clear. Any decent leader has got to be very clear of what success looks like. Number eight, empowerment. It's not just all about, you know, succeeding things. It's actually um, achieving things. It's about how everybody feels. And it's about um, everyone feeling enriched, you know, supporting everyone. So it's not just about being strong and stable. It's not just talking about the, the many rather than the few. It's actually about all. How is it that you're able to touch the lives of everybody who you meet and for the better? I'm not saying it's easy, but being mindful about that will really help you. Finally, it's about enlightenment. Raising our consciousness, being open to consciousness. And that leads us really beautifully onto my Heart Centered Leadership Masterclass. Um, I'm going to post a link below here. Um, I've, I've recorded over on soultrader.biz a very special Heart Centered Leadership um, free masterclass. And I really take you on a journey of these three, three things consciousness, which I was just talking about, creativity and compassion. Consciousness, everything is consciousness. Life is about energy. It is about um, that which is, it, it's about intelligence, but it's about that which is also beyond our individual consciousness. It's about our collective consciousness. We then find ourselves in a material world and it's a material world, it's stuff of, of, of matter. How is it that you are able to make that matter actually matter? How is it that you're able to be creative? How is it that you're able to be resourceful in terms of life? And finally, how is it that you're able to be compassionate? Without compassion, there's no love, there's no, there's no joy, there's no value, there's no fulfillment. So the masterclass will take you on that journey of these things. But I also touch on these very important things, which I've also touched on earlier. It's about your intentions. It's about integrity. That those things shape the input, and that, and then the impact. So that's the journey that the Heart Centered Leadership Masterclass and um, will take you on. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a leader, especially if you're a point in life if you're stuck, especially if you're wanting to bring something extra to the table and genuinely win over people's hearts and mind. Whether it is that you're in sport, whether it is that you're in the workplace, whether it is that you're a parent, whether it is that you're running a business, I highly recommend that Heart Centered Leadership Masterclass. Um, our tip of the month is listen within. If you don't go within, you're going to go without. Listen within. Sometimes in the noise of life, we don't listen to our inner voice. It's really important to be still, to be silent, to have quiet times that you can tune into your inner voice and to trust it. How many times is it that you've not listened to your inner voice and then you find that you're stressed or that you're stretched or that your health is suffering, or that you haven't um, um, followed up something that could be really important, something was telling you to call somebody, and then you find out that they've been struggling, when if you'd called them and trusted your instinct, you would have perhaps been there for them. So it's really important. Really great leaders. Um, it's really one of the things that comes up a lot, of course, in parenting and in friendship, where people just trust their instincts. We need to sell a feeling. Actually, minute, how are you doing? Are you okay? Um, next up, and we're nearly there. Choose your counsel and company wisely. This is really important for any journey that you're on. It is really, really important that you choose your, um, your crew, your, the cast, really, really mindfully. So I'm just going to give you just a few top tips. Number one, know your strengths, know what your weaknesses are. Two, play your strengths. It can be so busy that, you know, if you're a bodybuilder, why are you trying to spend your entire life being a... Being a um, um, a long distance runner, they, uh, you have different body types, different skills, different values. Be aware of your strengths, be mindful of your weaknesses. That brings us on to number two, play to your strengths and build on them. Sometimes you can be spending so much time on your weaknesses that you run away how to, unaware how to completely utilize your strengths. Three, take stock of the skills and support and the expertise and the information that you currently have 
and be that you need. Again, I touch on this on lots of my courses and on the Networking for Success workshop. So therefore you're aware, of, bear in mind before you're aware of your weaknesses, you're able to think, aha, I need somebody who's really good with IT. I need somebody who's really got good legal insight. I really know somebody who's really good with technology. I need somebody who's really good at X, Y, and Z. So that will really help you to succeed. Um, and that leads us in beautifully to number four, seek out those who have different strengths, styles, backgrounds, but whose values that align, because a great team will be a diverse team. And there's lots of actually scientific evidence around this about building a great diverse team. So that's number four. Number five, don't have people on board who are rocking the boat. So let go of those who are on board who are rocking the boat. This happens on any self-development, personal development, leadership development journey. You need to let go of those. And um, finally, seven, have fun, support others um, to flourish, you know, really have fun and have good intentions. That leads us on just before our closing quote of the month to um, responsibility, respect and service. And it's quite interesting that when people think about leadership, they often think about service and the public and the audience and the people who it is that they serve. Very last, they, they take it for granted. Actually, they should be first. They should be first. Who is that you're serving? How is that you'll be able to compassionate? How is that you can bring all of those people on board? They may not be on your team on board in that particular way, but how is that you're able to serve them? How is it that you're able to be mindful about them? And so um, my, uh, my tips around this is number one, care about who you serve, not just what it is that you serve. Care about who you serve, not just who, what you serve. So you might be very aware of the leader, I'm managing this particular project, but do you actually care about your team? Do you actually care about your customers? Do you care about the environment? Really genuinely care. Two, treat everyone with compassion, consideration, and kindness. This is just so, so important. You may not always see things like why, but be kind, be compassionate, be caring. Three, be respectful, responsible, accountable, equitable, and open-minded. You know, be mindful about how it is that you're treating people. Are you treating people fairly? And I say equitably because sometimes different people have different strengths and styles. So one person may well need a, 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 a lift, one person need a staircase um, because they have different strengths and different weaknesses, different abilities, different disabilities. But it's important that you're fair, you're, you're mindful that what you're trying to create is a level playing field for all. Finally, our closing quote is one of mine that you may have seen before. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's leaders won't lead dictating from the front or pushing from the back, but from the centre, from the heart. Tomorrow's leaders, great leaders, don't lead dictating from the front nor pushing from the back, but they lead from the centre, from the heart. That's the invitation of life. I wish you every joy, every happiness, every ongoing success in your personal, your professional, your relationship, and your social um, journey. I hope to see you at one of the future events. Um, there's lots of, remember, there's lots more resources on my YouTube channel here. Have a stop. You're probably watching this on YouTube, or if you click through it again, you'll get to YouTube. There's lots of stuff there. If you go onto my website on the free stuff area, you can subscribe to the paper version of this newsletter. There's all sorts of other free stuff here. You can also find me on Instagram at Rashidok and Laru, on Twitter at Rashidok and Laru, and you can look up my um, uh, official Facebook page and um, my official um, Soul Trader Facebook page. There's lots of stuff there, so you can find me, and of course, you can find Soul Trader on Twitter too, Soul Trader Bit. So there's lots of stuff and lots of ways to stay in touch. Thank you, thank you. Please, if you've liked this, I'd love to see your comments below. If there's any particular topics you'd like me to cover in the future, please do paste them below because that'll be good for me to know so that I can continue to do my little bit of service as well. And, and that's why um, this stuff is kind of free because that's my, it's what I can do, um, that, that bit of service to you, whoever it is that you are on your journey. So I really do hope from my heart that this has been helpful to you. Take care, all the best, lots of love. Bye-bye, Rashid. -bye.